fifth grade, we are starting a new project today. Uh, it'll probably take a couple class periods to go through. Uh, you want to make sure uh, that you have a pencil, and then as we get to the coloring part, um, definitely some color pencils. You want a yellow, an orange, a red, and a black. If we uh, decide that you can use markers on this, uh, you just want to make sure you got some protective paper to go underneath your drawing so it doesn't go through on some other sketches. All right, so we are going to get started. We are going to do a haunted house on a hill type drawing, and um, it will have a nice black silhouette with a nice yellowish red sky to it. All right, so there'll be some requirements of some things that you have to get in. Make sure you're looking for those, and uh, let's get this drawing started. All right, to start our drawing fifth grade, we are going to go to the next page in our sketchbook here. All right, and we're gonna keep this going portrait style. And there's a, a lot of good examples of some houses uh, on a hill with some nice uh, different designs. Um, I like this because it shows a little bit of everything that we're gonna need, the background, the building, and then some of the extras that we're gonna have in there. So. Uh, make sure if you are struggling for images, make sure you Google image some. Try not to copy theirs, but if you need, if you want to steal some things here and there and borrow and put those in your picture, try to make yours uh, unique. All right. So as we get going here, we'll go in a little closer. All right. The hill doesn't have to be tremendous on here, kind of the bottom of the page. And so we're just working with uh, a nice line outline. So this is gonna be my hill area. This gives me plenty of room to uh, draw, okay? And so what you wanna do is you're gonna have that house first. We kinda of wanna center it. You can use a ruler, you can use, uh, you can freehand it. So try to be creative and unique in maybe your design. So I like freehanding the old rickety buildings. Uh, we're not doing a whole lot of detail on the inside. We are just kind of working with the outline. We will have some windows in there as well, um, but we'll put those in towards the end. I like having the raggedy shingles on mine. All right. And so I'm gonna work on this a little bit. We just wanna make sure that we're covering the page. I like to have an entryway on either side, so I may come over here and get maybe a porch going with a nice railing and that'll kind of be outlined as well do something like that give a little post to hold it up and then i'll kind of work from there with what i've got so i'm going to continue on this for a little bit uh, you work on yours we're just trying to fill that space. Leave yourself a little bit of edge uh, so that we can add a few extras to this. All right, and I'll be right back. Okay, I got the basic outlines of my building. I added a few little details here and there. Um, you could add some other things as well. Here's a few things you want to add. We, um, and I'll give you a list at the end here so you don't have to try to remember what we're going on here. We want to get some extras in there. So I'm thinking I'm going to have um, a leafless tree here. And I'm just going to kind of start to shape it. And it might go off the page. That's all right. It's going to take up some of this area in here. so and then I'll branch off a few more in this area and so no leaves just branches and they all fell off all right uh, I want to add a couple extras so like I said there'll be a list but I'd like something to be in the sky so I'll probably put a few bats in there um, again they're just going to be kind of silhouettes of bats In there, may have another one over here. All 
Um, and then I'm going to look for a few extras. Could be a spider web. Uh, that would be kind of an interesting silhouette here with one giant one kind of dangling off the edge. Could be something like that. Uh, could have a witch or something in the upper part. Could have a black cat. Uh, could have some grave markers. But they have to be um, on the top of the hill here. They can't be inside of this area because this area will be kind of dark. So I may have something like that. I may put one over on this side. Something like that. Just as long as I'm filling the space. All right. So uh, work on that a little bit and then start the video up again and you'll see what to do next. Once you think you've got your details in there, then we're going to start adding a little color. And like I said, we're going to continue working on this next week as well. So this may take uh, one class period and then you may have to start the next part in the next class period. But uh, we're going to start with our yellow and we're going to go right over our pencil lines and we're going to fill in the windows to give them a little bit of life and like they're reflecting the sky or maybe there's light on inside. These windows can be um, altered as well. They can have some cracks in them. That's okay. Um, but really what we're doing, hopefully you're taking your time a lot better than I'm doing right now. I'm kind of rushing through here is that we are going to fill in the windows and then we're going to do a little yellow going around the edge of the building. All right, to give it that sun setting glow. And we are going to go from there. So I'm going to work on this. Stay tuned, and you'll see the next step. Now you'll notice when I went around with my yellow that I went a little bit on the lines and I wasn't rushing there. Um, well, I probably was rushing, but uh, there was a purpose for me to go over some of these things. I can go over these lines because eventually this is going to be dark. So I went over the spider, I went over the spider's web. I'm going to outline those anyway to uh, make them a little bit darker, okay? But once you got that yellow in, you can then take some orange and you're going to start the next layer. So as I work with the orange, I don't have to push very hard. I can still see my lines in there. Uh, again, these are all going to be dark later, so I'm not too worried about them as long as I can see them. I do want to go a little bit on the yellow as I fade away. So I don't want this to be a hard line in here. I kind of want it to blend out, but I also want to go a little bit onto uh, my yellow color pencil. And then eventually as I go around, then I'm going to come back in with the uh, yellow and I'm going to go a little bit onto the orange with the yellow as well so that they kind of blend a little bit better. You can already see they're starting to uh, get more of a yellowish orange and then pretty soon I'll have that uh, orange color and I'm going to bring that out as far as I can. Again take your time. We don't want to see a lot of white through here. We want a nice blend and you could even on the very very edge you could do a little bit of a red. It wouldn't go very dark with this. Um, or if you have an orangish, uh, a reddish orange, uh, you could mix those in there as well. But again, you kind of want to have a nice overlapping of color. And I'm going way too fast here. Uh, we don't want to see too much of the white of the paper. So don't be afraid to go back with some color and kind of go over it again. It really will help it blend out a little bit better for you and it helps those colors mix so you get that nice uh, gradual change and you can go a little bit uh, darker when you go in the second and third time that will help the transition uh, but we don't want to see just a little bit of all we want to see is a little bit of red not a whole lot so it's just enough to mix in with that orange and make kind of an orangish red on the very edge of the picture. All right, so I'm going to work on that. You work on yours, um, and then uh, next week we'll uh, show you how to finish it up, okay?
Whew. Once you get those colored pencils uh, shaded in there, you get your yellows, your oranges, your reds. You'll notice that I took my yellow and I went uh, even further along to help those colors blend, and there's nothing wrong with that. And I went over quite a bit of my pencil lines. As long as you can still see them, you should be good because we're going to darken those up next week. All right. Um, if you don't get done, uh, that's what you'll be working on. You'll be trying to finish up the house and then trying to finish uh, getting those three colors to blend out. Um, I went pretty quick. Please take your time. Um, make sure there's not hardly any white of the paper showing through. Get that nice glow of yellow going away from the house. All right. And then uh, we'll be with you next week to show you how to finish up. Have a good weekend. We'll see you guys later.